Okay, this is intense. That rocket's coming right at us. Go! No! Look, it bounced right off of us. Come on, countermeasures. Okay, let's dip low. That way we still don't get hit by it. Oh, it's gonna go right over us here. Oh, there's oh there was two of them. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Hello, YouTube. Moto Gaming here for you guys. Hey, another episode of Simple Planes. And yes, folks, we're back once again. And today we're going to be checking out some really awesome creations. Now, today we're going to start off with something that might not be a looker as far as the creation goes. But I can assure you, this boat here is one of the most awesome boats I've seen in Simple Planes. Uh, let me give you guys a little sneak peek as to what's on the inside. Let's go and open those up there. Oh, yes. This thing is loaded down. So, yeah, we're going to be checking out this creation along with a couple others. Uh, all the creations will be linked down in the description if you want to check anything out that you see in this episode. And if you're enjoying Simple Planes on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Helps out my channel, and let's do this. All right, so Missile Boat. Now, let me go ahead and reveal the weapons to you guys. Let's go to our air to airs down here. We have six Guardians, six Interceptors. Uh, the air to ground, it's got 11 bombs, 42 rocket pods, 6 torpedoes, 12 infernos, and 12 cleaver missiles. I don't think I've ever seen something carry that many cleaver missiles. Like, I'm pretty sure from a distance here, the cleavers pick up, I think, about an 8 to 10 mile range. I believe we could take out the fleet just setting back here. Uh, do we want to try that? You know, we're going to try that first. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to open up our little doors here. Oh, wrong way. Okay, we're good. We didn't blow ourselves up there. All right, we're going to switch to our cleaver missiles. Do our cleavers, what are we picking up target-wise right now? Doesn't seem to be picking up anything. Hold on, let's see if I can cycle targets. Oh, there they are. Huh. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, and now as far as controls, it is kind of like a uh, thruster-powered boat, uh, and it all controls off the uh, left stick. I'm using an Xbox One remote, by the way. And then... Uh, for your right stick, I believe, yeah, you can aim the rocket pods and also some of the missiles. Oh, oh, we're tracking targets here. Oh, hold on. Let's back off. Another cool thing this thing has, uh, it's got some uh, parachutes here. So say we're going too fast, we can go whoop, and that should help us out there a little bit. It's got some air brakes on it too. Come on. Come on. It's just gliding. It won't stop. Oh, there's some of the thrusters on the inside. I guess it's how it actually turns. That is an awesome design. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing turned over here to the left. Now, turning-wise, oh, we're already locking. Oh, okay, hold on. No, I don't want to lock on yet. I want to turn first. All right, we are in very bad position here, but we're going to go ahead and engage. All right, let's go here. Cleaver missiles. wonder why it's not locking on all the way. Uh, let's try to target something here in the back. Here we go. Come on, give me that lock. Give me that lock, buddy. There we go. Oh, it looks so cool. All right, here we go. We need to light up the whole fleet before they target us here. Come on. There we go. Let's get that destroyer. Come on. There we go. Did we already target the Anthony? I don't think we did. Oh, you can see him going down. Oh, this is cool. Wait for the big booms. Here come the booms. Here comes the pain. Okay, I don't know if this thing's got countermeasures. I would assume it does. Oh, we are just absolutely destroying the fleet right now. Okay, here comes the flak. The flak I'm actually really concerned about. Okay, here comes... They're going to lock onto us here. Okay. Countermeasures. Oh, it does. Oh, uh oh no, that, <laughs> Oh, we just got hit by a missile. Are, are we good? Uh-oh, our targeting's... Is our targeting down? Are we... Are we dead? <laughs> no, we're not dead. We got we actually got hit directly by a missile there. Oh, it blew something off the front. Uh, do I have any power? Okay, our cleavers are out. Our weapon systems are down. I'll be. Yeah, look at that. We have no weapon systems right now. They all went offline. Uh, okay, I still have control here. Now, do I have throttle? No, I don't even have throttle right now. Wow, look at the fleet. I know it's kind of hard to see. They are in flames right now. That is a, that's quite remarkable. Now, I guess there's several different ways you can approach this. I, it does have torpedoes on the front, so I could spam those. 
to get it started and then start using the cleaver missiles. I was kind of hoping the cleaver missiles were going to pick up a little further out. But nonetheless, I'm still a little confused as to why we didn't blow up there. Yeah, we took out the whole fleet except for like two boats. Actually, one boat, I think. No, two boats right there on the left side. Those cleaver missiles have such a big impact and explosion. I think it was actually damaging the other ships. Uh, let's reset here, and I'm going to see if I can get that targeting to pick up a little further out. But obviously, we're dead in the water right now. All right, we are ready to go. We got the fleet in front of us. Do we have any, uh, what kind of cameras do we have? Oh, we have bomb cameras. Yeah, there's bombs in this. Now, the bombs confuse me a little bit. I need to read a little bit more about them. They just really shoot out the top. And I don't know if they're activated by additional rocket. Maybe they're guided bombs, which that could be a thing. Hold on, let's go ahead, get the doors open here. Okay, we deploy those. Uh, let's go with our air to grounds here. So yeah, our cleavers, oh, they are picking up out here. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and uh, release these here. There we go. Let's go and hit the front. I think we're uh, we're pretty far away from them right now, so uh, they are shooting flak already. Okay, I see that, but we are unaffected at the moment. Come on, there's a lock there. We've got nine more cleavers, that's a ton. No! <laughs> hey, look, a cleaver missile. Ah, that flat got us that time. Oh, I want to see that cleaver missile make its impact. Uh, let's get start diving. Oh, we're going down here. Oh, there's the other one up in the air. Huh. Yeah, that fleet is still really tricky. It's it's really the AA. I do believe we would be able to destroy or we would be able to avoid the destroyer's missiles uh, if we kept moving there. All right, let's try a different approach. You know, upon further review of looking at these missiles stored on the inside here, I don't wonder if I can guide these. Hold on, let's hit, f is it four? Oh, I can. Oh, okay, this doesn't have thrusters on it. Oh, I can steer this. What the heck? Oh, this is like my favorite boat now. This thing's got guided bombs on it. Oh, I hope these actually have a decent impact. Ooh, I, this is gonna be hard to steer. Okay, this is really finicky. Hold on, let's see if we can hit something. You know, I don't think the fleet will get uh, aggroed on us for this because technically this is, uh, I don't know, we'll see. I don't think they will though. Dude, <laughs> we just, we just hit it. Do, did it go down? Hold on, camera, camera. Oh yeah, they're, they're mad at us for that. Okay, hold on, wait. Okay, countermeasures. All right, let's try. Man, we're gonna get killed in the middle of this. Oh, there goes a missile. Too bad we can hit that midair. Oh, uh, yeah, we would need to be a lot further away for this to be an effective tactic. It's cool that it has this, though. Oh, let's steer it back. I'm pretty sure our, our boat's about to be destroyed. Oh, we can go back to the boat. Oh, yeah, it just blew up. They're locked on. Are they locked onto this? No, they're locked onto the boat, uh, or at least what's left of the boat down there. Oh, we're still going to hit this. Oh, man. There's so many features here. All right, let's go ahead and go for the other aircraft carrier here. There we go. Uh, and plant it. Boom! <laughs> oh, it took out the uh, the flak uh, boats. Did it take out the destroyers? Oh, the destroyers are on fire. I tell you what, two well-placed boats there. Actually, what's left of our, uh, what's left of this out here? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, are we still operational out here? What is happening? Oh! <laughs> yep, that, oh, I think that froze the game. You know, I think that missile boat has armored plating because that thing took like three missiles. It was still active. Man, I don't know what just happened though. I think the game's frozen. We broke it. We did it, folks. We broke simple planes. I tell you what, I could do an episode dedicated to this boat. Like, that's how much stuff that we can do with it. Alright, we're gonna get away from the uh, the fleet once again, and I'm gonna launch those uh, bombs that I can guide, because if we're out of range of their missiles and flak, we can do a lot of damage with those three, uh, our three uh, little guided missiles, and then we can go in and finish off the fleet with the cleavers. I think that's actually a good strategy. So we're gonna go ahead, let's back off, get some distance here. It seems that those uh, those guided bombs have a ton of long range distance capabilities. So I don't really, I'm not really worried about missing, or at least being out of range. 
The missing part, I, I might still do that. All right, we're pretty far away. Let's go ahead and decrease throttle. Let's get some air brake. Let's deploy our parachutes. Let's slow this bad boy down. All right, are those chutes? Oh yeah, they are making a pretty big difference here. All right, I really do believe we're at safe distance. There's no way I think their fleet's missiles would target us out here. I could be wrong. I know you guys can probably barely see them, but they are uh, kind of on the horizon there. Okay, so let's go ahead, do that. Let's get the doors open. I gotta be sure to be uh, on the right camera for the bombs. So let's go ahead. All right, so I believe this is gonna be number four here, which I would probably need to be pointed the other way. Let's just go and launch it. Let's go four. Okay, four is launched. Oh, it's actually arching that way. Hold on, let's turn it. Dude, that has got some range to it. And it's so weird because this is not rocket propelled. Like it just launches itself and does that. All right, so I need to be very accurate. Let's go for the carriers because if you hit the carriers, it seems to affect the, uh, the outer ships. So... All right, come on, buddy. Oh, this is gonna be hard to hit. Oh, this is a little bit awkward right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay, that's a confirmed hit. Was that a damaging hit? Yes, it was, okay. Mmm, those destroyers are still good. Is the carrier going down? Oh, we might. Oh, I think we needed to hit it a little bit further up. Okay, we, they're shooting flak. Is that flak getting out to us? Oh, it is. Jeez, that flak's got some range. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get a little bit of throttle here. Let's carry ourselves away. Let's go and dump those chutes. There we go. Okay, this missile's coming in. Carrier still appears to be up, which is very bad news for us. Actually, everything appears to still be up. Yeah, that wasn't a good hit there. All right, should we go for the back one again? You know what, we're gonna go for the front one here. We're gonna stall them out. Uh, thankfully they cannot target this, it seems like. All right, and boom! That was a direct hit there. Oh, that was a devastating hit on the carrier. Come on, is it going down though? Yeah, okay, that carrier looks like it's leaning, I think. All right, wow. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and select our, uh, I guess it's gonna be cam six. Now this one's rocket powered, so we're gonna launch this. Oh, I'm not on the right camera again. Where is it, where is it? Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. This one is rocket powered. Ooh, this is an awkward camera. Ooh, I can't see on this one. Oh, oh, what the heck, where is it? Ooh, why is the camera mounted like this? <laughs> where are we compared to the fleet? Oh, there's the fleet. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Ooh. <laughs> Why would the camera be mounted here? Okay, we gotta make a turn here to get to the fleet. Let's correct it. This feels like uh, that old game Tempest, where the uh, your little creature would go around the screen, and the camera was really odd. I think we might actually do this. On, here we go. Come on. Oh, this is too awkward to control. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Just plant it down in there. Hit something, no! I think we went right in between him. That was really super awkward. All right, so I guess it's time. If we fail here, I I'm still satisfied, but I guess we need to go make it the actual run at the fleet. So let's go make sure our cleavers are activated. Man, we even have air-to-air -air capabilities too, so if we were to get attacked by some sort of aircraft, we'd be good. All right, so they're lighting us up with flak right now. We're going about 300 miles per hour, which is ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and start peppering them with these, uh, with the guns. I doubt this is gonna affect them, but still, might as well try. Come on, targeting. I hope that we're moving too fast for the flak right now. I mean, 300 miles per hour is pretty decent uh, for at least a boat, but we're still a big target here in the water. You know, morally, I'm worried about them hitting our missiles. I think that's what detonates this uh, boat. All right, we're in within range. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, lock one. Okay, get my counter measures, measures ready. Counter measures. Come on, there we go. Where's that rocket at? Okay, this is intense. That rocket's coming right at us, go! 
Look, it bounced right off of us. On countermeasures. Okay, get back within range. Ooh, this is so intense. Oh, we're smoking. Oh, we blew up. Okay, Han. Let's see what damage we do here. We still have two cleavers on their way to their targets. Oh, oh, that was a glorious explosion. There goes another one. Oh, come on, camera. Stay up here. There we go. Boom! That is fantastic. Oh, it's glorious. I love the uh, the sight of explosions like that. That that does my heart good. I think that about did it for the fleet, to be honest with you. Like, that is a tremendous amount of damage. But anyways, I think, even though I could probably, like I said, do the whole episode on just that boat, I think it's probably time that we move on to the next creation. Uh, that is so glorious. Alright, so for our next creation here, we have the Sky Raider 4.0. Now, if you've kept up with my Simple Planes episodes, you know that we've checked out a Sky Raider aircraft. Uh, that was, ooh, it's probably been a couple months now. But this is the latest and greatest version of it. I think this is the final version of it. Now, this is not an attack airplane. Like, this is not a fighter airplane. I'm, we're not going to be dueling and dogfighting with other fighters. This is an air to ground. What is that that just flew up? Okay, it's landing. Uh... Wow, that was a rough landing of that plane, okay. But anyways, this is an air-to-ground, uh, morally attack plane. Now, this thing is absolutely loaded. For a plane, this is impressive. It's got two bombs on it, eight cleavers, 16 rockets, and six Inferno. That is absolutely insane to be carrying that. And also, this is just probably one of the more glorious looking planes that I've seen in uh, Simple Planes here. Let's go ahead and switch cameras and see what we got. We got our orbit view. Okay, let's go down. What's the cockpit look like? Oh, is that a bomb camera? What is that? That might be a bomb camera. You know, it doesn't actually have a... Oh, there it is. Okay, I was looking for the traditional cockpit camera. Oh, this is kind of neat. I like this. All right, so let's go ahead and lift off here. Oh, I love that paint job. That navy paint job. Ooh. That is a sick looking plane. Uh oh, we should probably actually take off here. <laughs> okay, I lifted it right off. Is that a tunnel over there? Is that a hangar? I think it's a hangar, but kind of looks like it's built into a tunnel over to the left of us. All right, so let's go ahead and put up our uh, landing gear here. Let's put it through its paces. I really, uh, I really find it fascinating how people do art in this game. Like the bee on the back of it's actually like a little 3D model. That's uh, that's always been really cool. That's when you, uh, it's kind of like you wonder why didn't simple planes have some sort of painting aspect as far as like decals which I guess do they have decals I don't know those kind of no those aren't even decals yeah those are all 3d uh, models huh maybe if they ever do a simple planes too maybe they'll have like a decal system you know one thing I just noticed the pilot's head actually moves with the uh, the pitching so if you pitch turn left turn right that's actually really neat looking all right, so Sky Raider is loaded up, ready to go here. We probably should have taken on maybe a mission or something, but I mean, we obviously we have a target right here. If we just want to test out its capabilities, this isn't even going to be fair, to be honest with you. Uh, let's go over to Cleavers, which I guess they do. No, see, this has got a six mile range, opposed to the boat, which is a five mile. All right, here we go, Cleaver. There we go. Oh, I love the Cleaver missiles. They just look so mean. There we go. And... You know, I'm really surprised the aircraft carrier doesn't have any sort of mounted guns on it because this is just not going to be fair here. Just wait for it. We're going to have two epic explosions. I uh, see the one Cleaver. It's really got to turn. Uh, okay, there it is. Oh, we're getting targeted. Oh, I really do, do hope this has countermeasures. I believe it does. Okay, countermeasures. There we go. Looking for their missile. That's the only disadvantage to the uh, cleaver. It takes forever for those missiles to get to their targets. There goes one of theirs. Okay, countermeasures. Wait, countermeasures. Okay, let's dip low. That way we still don't get hit by it. Oh, it's going to go right over us here. Oh, there's. Oh, there was two of them. Whoop. Okay. And countermeasures. There we go. Boom. Destroyers have been absolutely annihilated. There goes that missile. <laughs> All right, beast. P 
pick your poison here. What do we want to hit you with? I've got rocket pods. I mean, the cleaver is the easy way out, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe we'll bomb them. Those bombs. Okay, there's two right there. Uh, there's our advanced targeting mod. That was the last episode, if you haven't seen that. Uh, it's a new little mod here that kind of shows you where your uh, bombs are going to go. Oh, uh, yeah, the destroyers are already gone. Those are just dead in the water. Now, I noticed something about this. You see, there's kind of a red circle on that. On the beast there with the targeting mod. Yet, my targeting's over here. Is that showing, like, it's... Maybe it's weak point? I don't know. Let's go ahead and circle around, and we'll, uh... We'll go in for the attack here. Oh, this thing flies so smooth. All right, there's the beast. Uh, I still have a little bit of issues with this targeting, huh? Let's go... Okay, there's that. Actually, that looks pretty accurate. Uh, get ready. We're gonna drop our bombs. Ready? Let's go. One, two. Bombs have been dropped. Question is, are they on target? Uh, oh, that was a direct hit! The beast has been hit! The question is, was that enough to take the beast down? Uh, we're gonna do a, a flyby here. Ah, uh, the beast appears to maybe still be up, huh? Let's get our infernos. Uh, Fox 3. There it goes. Let's go one more. Alright, let's watch it. Watch the beast burn. Oh, yes. That is epic looking. Huh, oh, did it go down? What the heck? All right, wait, what if we launch one? We still have a lock here. What happens here? Is that gonna, is that gonna do a big loop? <laughs> I think it is gonna turn. All right. Uh, come on, beast, just go down. It is resisting. Hold on, let's launch all the Inferno missiles at it. All right. If not, we will have to finish it off the cleaver. Let's go to our rocket pods real quick. We haven't used those. Uh, let's do a big circle here. Ooh, buddy. Oh, the beast is just getting pounded here. This just doesn't even seem fair. All right, let's go. Wait, what kind of rockets are these? These aren't rocket pods. Those are full-blown missiles. They kind of drop really hard, though. Oh, let's go. Uh, one of those has got a hit. Oh! <laughs> what in the heck kind of rockets are those? Are those nukes? Oh, that blew us up. Yeah, the beast is going down now. What the heck were those? I kept thinking those were rocket pods. Those aren't. Those are just like normal rockets, but those have a punch to them. But yeah, if you guys ever want an air-to-ground attack plane, that's probably one of your best bets. While it might not be the fastest plane, it does have plenty of countermeasures to it. So uh, hopefully you would take out your target ahead of time. But anyways, let's move on to the next one. All right, so the last thing we're gonna be checking out here. This is a very unique creation here in Simple Plains. This is a jetpack. Why is this platform spinning? Yeah, this is a jetpack. You've got a test dummy on it. Uh, you know, I probably should have read the controls, but we're gonna go ahead and wing it here. And okay. Oh, oh, wait. Wait, I can move the dummy. Look, he kind of dances. He does a little dance here. Oh, oh. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and activate this. Mm, hit all the oh no wait 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 this is kind of cool oh what are these other buttons no oh, that's a parachute release the chute please on uh, there we go well I hope we don't need that parachute all right activate all the groups here to the VTOL controls are these actually pitching him no uh, okay that turns the the rockets there or the thrusters dude we have a jetpack. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is really cool. All right, let's go ahead and oh, all right, let's turn them. Uh, let's go ahead and drop altitude here. What happens when we turn these this way? Okay, so that would reverse us. Okay, are we actually dropping altitude, or are we just going that fast? No, we're still raising. This is amazing. I really like this creation. Okay, so that actually moves his feet, or his bottom legs. Huh. Either that or they're just dangling. I'm not really sure. He probably would really like that parachute now. Okay, so it appears that 8 is like some sort of gyro here, or some sort of stability. Because if I click it off, that's what happens. He goes into like a death spiral. Alright, so if I click it on, we go whoop, and then he uprights himself. Okay, so we are dropping altitude now. We should probably reactivate our thrusters here. 
Uh, it was one of these. <laughs> there we go. All right, so thrusters are back. What kind of views do we have here? There's orbit, camera one, flyby. Here's a cockpit view. Oh, that is crazy looking. I like that. Uh, let's go back out. Okay, chase view. All right, let's get this thing moving. Now, I don't want to be climbing altitude, so let's go ahead and angle these outward like this. Oh, now we're climbing. Okay, maybe we just need to be really, really light with the throttle. They need an eject button on here. Like, I, I would love to be able to eject the character. Huh? Let's just let him drop here. This is so odd looking. He looks like he's just skydiving. Uh, let's go ahead and start to turn him to the right. Oh, and that could be a target down there to land on. Let's, uh, let's upright him. Okay, there we go. Let's try to get him. To uh oh, oh, that's getting a little violent. Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything's cool. All right, our thrusters, uh, they're ready to go here. All right, so we're dropping to the ground. He's upright. All right. Uh, we're not going to do water landing here, folks. We're going to go... One, two, there it goes. All right, let's go ahead and dip that a little bit. I don't want to be going that fast. I want to try to find that nice, even hover. Let's say we can land on that uh, aircraft carrier. I don't think that's going to happen here. This is so cool. It does not take much at all to get him moving upwards either. As far as carrying altitude, like I'm at 24% throttle and he's raising. Oh, let's go, let's go five. All right, he's going, he needs to be saved. Oh geez, oh geez. Oh, this is gonna be jetpacks gone wrong. Oh buddy, and boom. <laughs> oh, that was cool. We saved him. I don't know what we're gonna call him. We're gonna call him Bob. He'll be another one of our Bobs. All right, so the last thing I wanna see out of this dude, I wanna see him crash here. I just wanna see him go down because I'm curious as to what the uh, what the crash dummy's gonna do here. Uh, let him do that. Okay, he should be going down here any second. He's kinda arching here. And here we go, skydiving. No! <laughs> No, we're going down. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. And correct him. Uh. Oh! <laughs> Still as explosive as ever. I don't get what it is sometimes here about simple planes and the way the cockpit and all that when it does blow up, how far away you fly. There's just so much momentum in everything. Hey, there's a fleet. But anyways, folks, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I didn't check out too many creations, but that first one, it just took us so long because it was so epic and there was so much to discover on it. So anyways, do check out the creations link down in the description. Hope you enjoyed this episode and we will see you guys next time in Simple Planes. Thank you.